collecting grass and leaves and sticking it on the garden area. When we first moved here in 2011, there was five or seven acres of corn. It was fertilized a lot. And we've been trying to work the ground up. So, and we now have the fields that was corn. There are hay fields now. That one of our first year, the corn was harvested, no more corn. Um, we tried a garden. I planted 50 pounds of potatoes. Got maybe 20. The ground was depleted. It is taking so much time to get it back to where it was okay to grow in and still, still not there yet. Piles of animal manure that we let sit for at least a year and we use that and that and it's really good and it's growing really good so I'm very excited to see what next year will be all my strawberry planters have nothing but homemade compost soil from this land from these animals from our time so now I, in the fall, pick up grass and leaves, stick it on the new small garden area that we are going to plant beans and other, and just two things in there, I think, beans being one, maybe corn, and hopefully we can do it all with what we're using here. Every year when we clean out the barns, clean out the sheds, we pile it up and we let it sit. And that is what has been filling up those beds. That's how we filled all those raised beds. We use the pine needles for around the blueberry bushes. We try to use anything and everything on here. Sometimes we do buy a little bit of soil to put on top of the raised beds. Other than that, it's what was on the homestead. The homestead it is providing. And if you work it right, Anything on this land can be grown by anything on this land. And that's what we want. So this little area, little for now, so we can work it up. Sorry about the wind. Cover it with the plastic. Rabbit, goat, bedding, manure. And now, we we'll top it off with grass and leaves, and then cover it back up for the winter. We have plenty of leaves. And you see the blueberry bushes ooh, right there with the pine straw in them. And the leaves are keep falling, so we'll have plenty. So we'll see what this will We'll make for a garden area for next year. And if not next year, a couple years. But it's going to happen. So it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So raking up the leaves one more time to put on our garden bed. And I actually took the lawnmower and done this, but I'll pick them up with the rake. And let's go see what the garden bed looks like so far. 
So here's what it looks like under the tarp. We're going to put more leaves in here, tarp it back for the winter, and plant in it in the spring. So let me get busy doing that. Last time for leaves for the winter. Does this not look nice? So I just wanted to share with you that I do put the lawnmower over the leaves first. And I do that for two reasons. Help break up this big area of the leaves. And it mulches and it breaks it down quicker so the nutrients can get into the soil quicker. I got two more great big loads on it now. So I'm going to put it to bed for winter. Of course, this side already has two big loads on it. And it's decomposed that much already. So this should be really good soil. Come spring, I'm going to cover it up and be done with so it. I have it covered again now. So it's just going to be set it and forget it till spring. It's supposed to snow one to three inches tonight and I'm in a short sleeve shirt. <sighs> Kentucky.